As this committee is aware, the debate as to the best primary, calendar, and delegate selection process continues. As members of the Rules Committee, we are tasked with making well thought out rule amendments to facilitate the best possible primary process and calendar. To aid the Rules Committee in making those difficult decisions, I have appointed a subcommittee of the Rules Committee to focus solely on the primary calendar and the delegated selection rules. The subcommittee will have the very important role of reviewing how the 2012 primary process played out. We will also discuss and debate ways in which our rules can be amended to improve the primary process for 2016. This will be an open process. committee had decided um, that they were going to close the doors and kick out the you know everybody that was spectating in the press to allow uh, an informal discussion without Robert's rules governing to basically talk through about rules 1 through 11. So all those in favor of uh, convening a, an executive session uh, to have an informal discussion of rules 1 through 11 please Thank you. All those opposed to convening a special session, please stand. The ayes have it. We're going to go ahead and, and move to an executive session. Once the informal discussion concludes, we'll reconvene in a formal uh, uh, session and conduct the meeting business of the Rules Committee. At this time, I ask that all Rules Committee staff, excuse me, all Rules Committee members and staff remain in the meeting room. And I ask everyone else, um, all guests, all of the members of the RMC, all press, um, to leave the room and uh, the council's office will, uh, will make sure that they're in the doors. Um, I'm going to turn the meeting okay. over to what is it that we're trying to cover here? Is this, you know, controversial stuff or is it benign or what is it? And once it was figured out that they, not even the chair knew why they were really going in executive or session, that, you know, the motion was made to allow the public back in because of the mistrust that that, that creates. You made a motion and we're asking why it is that we um, don't right, want to have these people in here, um, what the purpose of that was. If your arguments are the best, if they're the most rational, if they're the most fair, you should want people to hear what your arguments are. Uh, putting it in, in, in secret doesn't make the arguments any better or worse. So. The question I had raised in closed session was, why are we meeting in secret? And the only answer I could get was that they thought it would slow the process, to which I said, I don't understand. People in the audience can't debate, so how does that slow the process? To me, the only difference is whether the doors are open and people are let in, or the doors are closed and people are shut out, but the process shouldn't take any longer. The preamble of our party says that we are the party of the open doors, and obviously that wasn't the case when the doors are closed and everybody is kicked out. You know, these people come to attend these meetings, to attend and listen to the business, and, you know, take that information back home and disseminate that information. And so it's very important that, you know, we at least allow the business of the party to be known to the rank and file Republicans that participate in our party's business. Uh, right now, I'd like to call upon Bruce Ash to give the Rules Committee report. Bruce? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. We opened yesterday's meeting by naming appointments to the subcommittee that is tasked with reviewing the rules with uh, 
uh, respect to the primary calendar and delegate select the selection process. The subcommittee will discuss and debate in an open and in a transparent manner ways to improve and make better the primary process in the 2016 election cycle. You had informed some people about the subcommittee, people who outside of the RNC for the first time were learning about the formation of this. What was What's the response that you've seen generally from people learning about it? I think even all around the board is that people do not like when these type of things are put into smaller hands and less eyes and, and less input because it, off, it stifles the discussion and it stifles the ability of our party to interject new ideas or even, you know, try to hold people accountable for some of the things that did occur. How do you respond um, to that accusation that this is a lack of transparency and um, centralization method? Well, first of all, I agree with those who feel that Tampa was mishandled, which is one of the reasons why uh, I made no effort to suppress the Texas delegates that were trying to be recognized for a motion uh, point of order. Mm -hmm. uh, I supported their efforts to try to get recognized. Uh, I also did not favor how the rule process was done in Tampa. And two of our Texas representatives of the Rules Committee uh, fought successfully the rule change that would have allowed the presidential nominee to bump uh, selected delegates from the state and replace them with their own. I felt that process was a poorly advised process. I also disagreed with not allowing debate on the floor. I also disagreed with not recognizing people for a point of order. I also disagreed with not reading back Ron Paul's vote totals. And I also disagreed with having the teleprompter having results in advance of the vote. And I also disagreed with just going on a voice vote uh, when it appeared to be close. Um, I think maybe at that point in time a showing of hands would have been in order. So I understand those that because of the way Tampa was handled might create suspicion for the rest of the process. Uh, so all I can say is relative to myself, mm -hmm. um, I don't have any mind telling people what's going on in the process, and that's one of the reasons transparency. As evidenced by yesterday, uh, Morton Blackwell and I, when we were forced into executive session, our first order of business was to argue that we weren't supposed to be in executive session, and there was no business conducted in the executive session except for us presenting a motion to get out of executive session, which eventually we won. So I was in favor of opening the doors up and letting uh, just the public observe. So, so long as I'm on the subcommittee, uh, anybody wants to know what can happen or is happening, all they have to do is, is call me. I would ask that people not overwhelm my office and get a thousand calls, but I am, will be happy to disseminate the information about what's occurring on the subcommittee. But once we're out of subcommittee, it will be back to the rules committee Hopefully that won't be done in executive session uh, and the process will be open. But I think Tampa made it particularly important that we try not to do things behind closed doors unless it's absolutely necessary because there's already a climate of suspicion among some and we need not to do anything to foster that suspicion. The members of the committee shall be Sean Steele, National Committeeman from California. Randy Evans, National Committeeman from Georgia. Carol Mumford, National Committeeman from Long Island. Henry Barber, National Committeeman, Mississippi. Bob Bennett, National Committeeman, Ohio. Enid Mickelson, National Committeewoman from Utah. Solomon Yu, National Committee Woman from our Committee Man from Oregon. Steve Dupre, National Committee Man from New Hampshire. Pat Rogers, National Committee Man from New Mexico. 
Steve Ministeri, State Chairman from Texas, Jeff Kent, National Committeeman from Washington State, Peter Fabin, National Committeeman from Florida, and James Smack, National Committeeman from Nevada. The ex officio members of this committee will be Reince Priebus, RNC Chair, myself, Bruce Ash, National Committeeman uh, from Arizona and Rules Committee Chair, Louis Pope, National Committeeman from Maryland and Rules Committee Vice Chair, Demetra DeMonte, National Committee Woman from Illinois and RNC Secretary, and finally John Ryder, National Committeeman from Tennessee and RNC General Counsel. The subcommittee members will be asked to stay after the Rules Committee uh, meeting here today adjourns, at which point uh, the first meeting of the subcommittee will uh, convene.